So we're going to start with our first drill, which is going to be leg swings. So we're just going to be holding onto the wall itself, and we're just going to get our legs swinging forward and backwards there. Okay, so it's a minute off the right hand leg, forward and backwards only. I'm just going to shift it a wee bit closer so you can see what's going on today. Good job. So legs swings forward and backwards. Don't worry about speed, but worry about keeping the upper body nice and straight as you can so that we're trying to get extension of the hip rather than floating forward and backwards with the upper body. Try and keep the upper body nice and still so it's only coming from the hips. So you might sacrifice a little bit of range, but that's okay for keeping the core nice and controlled. So we're going to go right leg first, forward and backwards. Keeping the knee nice and straight as well, so we're not like kicking the leg forward and backwards, the knee stays locked out, it's all coming from the hip itself. Three, two, one, switch over, left leg, ready, off we go, just leg swings. Keeping the core nice and controlled, try not to Extend the lower back, keep it nice and strong. Core active. Light that holding onto the wall if you can just for balance. So rather than being all over the place, use the wall to keep upper body nice and controlled. Toes pulled up towards you, knee nice and straight. And we're just trying to get this leg working. 20 seconds guys, nice and controlled, nice and easy. We've got three drills in our warm up, first and foremost. And you might find the foot just skiffs off the ground, that's absolutely fine as well. Three, two, one, we're back to right leg, and this time it's going to be out to the side and across midline, okay? So out to the side and across midline. Again, upper body is not pitching to the side. Use the hands for support and letting that leg swing right past midline. Up nice and tall. You can swing the leg in front of the body or behind the body, whatever way you feel. You might want to do one in front, one behind, just to try and get some rotation of the hip as well. That's absolutely fine. There's no hard and fast rules as long as the upper body stays nice and controlled. And again, you should start to feel that outer hip. Just kind of a little bit of a nice stretch. Stance legs working hard as well. 10 seconds to switch over. Three, two, one, switch the legs over, ready, off we go. Again, upper body nice and controlled, nice and tall. And the main reason for doing a lot of leg swings first thing is that we're going to do a little bit of hip rotation work today. So we're just trying to get the hips moving Rather than just going forward and backwards, we're trying to get some rotation through the hips, but controlled, loaded rotation. Halfway. Even bring in that arm. It goes the opposite way to help pull that leg up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Back onto our right leg. So it's going to be, we're going to go back down to kneel, drive through. Back down to kneel, drive through. Kneel, drive through. Ready, off we go. Don't worry too much about speed. Don't worry too much about depth. We're just trying to get that drive through the leg. 
Use the arms if you can for balance this time, rather than the wall. And we're going to start feeling all that hips just working to co-contract, to stabilise, activate through the ground. A lot of the key phrases we use over the past few weeks, months, years even. We're almost up to over, well, we're over a year now. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, switch over, up to leg, ready, off we go. Whoa. Balance on the right leg, it's not as good as my left, and work extra hard. Just run it down a wee small bit just so you've got that control. work. All about being in control, killing momentum. Last 10 seconds guys. Three, two, one, and relax there. Good job. We grab our, our broom sticks or our wooden poles. And we're going to have overhead. And all we're going to do is, as we step forward, lunge towards that side. Step back, lunge towards that side. Rotating with the arms itself, okay? So, stepping forward or right, we'll rotate to the right. Stepping forward or left, rotate to the left. 10 seconds. And we've got, whoa, two minutes still in total. Three, two, one, off we go. Overhead, step, rotate, drive back up. Step, rotate, oops, right here. Step back up. Step, rotate, drive back up. Step, rotate, drive back up. Good. Hands over head the whole time. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Just explore how far you can go with that side bend. Really open up the hip of the back leg. Hip flex is getting a good stretch as we rotate away. And it's a side bend rather than rotation, so it's not like a rotate. We're going to side bend. Guys, last 30 seconds. Okay, so weight and a mat. So for this one, all we're going to do is have weight in the hands. We're going to be kneeling. And all we're going to do is we're going to rotate around, stand up, back down, back up. 
So the feet rotate and the body rotates as well, okay? And we've got do, 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 three by a minute each side. So we're going to start in five seconds. Kneeling on the right knee, we're rotating to the right hand side. Ready? Off we go. Keeping the weight quite close to the chest. Both feet rotate as we turn around. So we're really trying to get some rotation through the back hip. Back hip, X time rotates, front hip, in time rotates. straight forward as we come up, feet should be pointing straight to the side as we go back down again. So we're rotating through that foot. If we can, keep the heels elevated. Three, two, one, switching over. Left leg's going to be on the pads, right leg's going to be front, and three, two, one, off we go. Through the floor, press the ball of the foot to rotate. Get that back leg really rotating through the hip. If you can, really drive that leg right the way around and really open up that hip. So it's almost quite in there to start with, in there to finish off with. Three, two, one, switch back over, right knee down. Ready, three, two, one, off we drive, rotate. And you might just be more restricted on one side or the other. My right hand side doesn't go as far around, but just work into where there's tension, not into pain. Keeping that weight close by your chest. just rotates quite nicely. And we're lunging into that leg there. Good work. seconds. Really get a nice stretch for that groin, loaded stretch. Don't force anything, just keep it nice and controlled. Three, two, one. Last set, the right hand leg. Right hand leg down. Ready. Off we go. And then let's just 
explore full range with this reps here. So probably less repetitions, but squeeze that lunge as we go away. So here, over, lunge. Here, over, lunge. resistance three two one left knee down last set last one ready off we go Seconds, almost there. Lunge and back in. Lunge, back in. Three, two, one, and relax our pocket pads to the side, grab our foam rollers. Go use the wall for this next drill. Um, can you see me if I go up here? Just about. Feet maybe in the wall. Four rollers between the legs, and we're just rolling the four roller forward and backwards. Okay, so it looks a little bit like feet on the wall, bottoms at 90 degrees to the knee, four rollers in between the knees there, and we just roll forwards and we're rolling backwards on the top hip. So it's not a huge movement, but the feet are definitely pressing both against the wall. And we're really trying to squeeze the foam roller as we roll it. And we're probably going to get about maybe a quarter turn out of the foam roller. So ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. And we're trying to pull from our bottom. So really pull from the glute to really pull into the hip itself. So really pull into the hip. Body should be stacked over the hips. So shoulders over the pelvis, pulling right back into the joint, but squeezing the knees together. Press against the wall the whole time as well. So our contacts are foot on the wall, knee at the foam roller, back of the hip. Squeeze and roll. Get some nice depth in the back of that hip. Really trying to loosen that hip off. Three, two, one, switch it around. So we're going to do the left leg this time, uppermost. Feet against the wall, still at 90 degrees. Ready, off we go. And roll that hip back in. So really trying. Suck that hip into the joint. Nothing upper body moves, it's all coming from that hip itself. So squeeze into the wall, squeeze and pull back with the hip. Really work hard. Pull back. Pull back. Head resting long. Squeeze through the hip. Feet pressing against the wall, pull the hip. 
quarter turn jog looking for with foam roller, but we're trying to get some depth into that hip. Don't worry about speed, worry about holding that end range. Three, two, one, switch over, Our right legs on the top this time. This time we're going to squeeze and hold for a minute. So set yourself up, here against the wall. Ready, pull the top leg back and we're going to hold there. Hold there and really squeeze, keep the tension on the glute the whole time. Don't let any movement back towards the knee. Take a nice deep breath in, squeeze the knee down on your in breath, pull the hip back towards you on your out. So you're really taking up any slack. Really hang here, press against the wall, push the knee down, pull the hip back. Keep under tension the whole time, don't slide forward. Stay back in the hip, pull, pull, pull. Really drop into that hip, stay here. You might get a wee bit of a feeling in the adductor, the inside of your groin. If you're not, just squeeze that foam roller a little bit harder. To start to feel that groin working there. Five, three, two, one, switch over. Left leg up almost. Feet against the wall, 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. Pull the top leg down to the foam roller and pull it back in the hip joint. Ready, and off we go. Squeeze and hold. Press down through the wall, press down into the foam roller. Really get that contraction through the hip. Really work it hard. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You'll feel that adductor working now. Hold it here. Squeeze the knees. Squeeze the hip. Working hard. Halfway there. Keep the tension there. Deep breath in. Squeeze the knees together. Deep breath out. Pull the hip back. Ten seconds, squeeze knees, pull the hip. Five, three, two, one. First side, first side again. And we're going to be pulsing again. So pulses at like the first set. Feet against the wall, 90 degrees, set yourself up well. Ready, and off we go. Roll in, roll out. Roll in, squeeze out. Keep the tension, press into the foam roller. Never give up on the tension in the foam roller. And don't worry about how deep the hip joint goes, just working into the end range restriction. Huge solid contraction at the hip, really cool the hip into the joint. Three, two, one, switch over. Left leg up almost, 90 degrees at the knees, 90 degrees at the hips, feet flattened against the wall, ready and up and go. Roll, roll, roll. Pull back in, release back out. here. Keep the pressure on the adductors, keep the pressure down on the foam roller itself. Let that top leg just go straight forward, straight back. There's no rotation through that hip. Everything gets pulled back, everything gets pushed forward. Ten 
10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax there. Good job. Put the foam rolls to the side. Our last drill of the day, glute bridge. Glute bridge, we're going to do glute bridge with pulses, okay? So what we're going to do, find ourselves in a glute bridge position. We're going to lift our hips as high as we can. We're going to drop halfway, push back up. Drop halfway, push back up. Keeping our feet pressing into the ground. Keeping our heels digging in towards our bottoms. And we're just going to keep ourselves in our small pulse in the outer range. We've got three by one minute to finish off with. Big glute work. Three, two, one. Raise all the way up. And we're pulsing. Driving that pelvis through. Make it come from the glutes rather than your back. Okay, so make sure you're tucking the pelvis under to lift that hips high. Press down to the ground with the feet. Drive the hips high. Push through. And we're up a 15 second recovery once we're finished the first set. Small pulses. Really drive through. Keep the height. The reach just helps bring you into that glute bridge position. Arms reaching up towards the roof. Whole posterior chains will be working. Hamstrings, arm glutes in three, two, one. Back down, 15 seconds. Good job. Give those little stretches if they need to. Give the glutes a little stretch if they need to. Five seconds. Feet just about 90 degrees away. Three, two, one. Raise. And we're back at our small pulses. And it's coming from the pelvis. The pelvis goes straight up, not the lower back. It's the pelvis. So imagine there's a, a head towards right about your midriff and it shines straight up towards the roof and you're pressing up towards the roof. Press the feet down though. Think about as you press the feet down, drive the hips up. So it's like a seesaw. Last 15 seconds, almost there. Squeeze through, drive through. Three, two, one, and relax back down, 15 seconds. And we're gonna be on to our last and final set. Nice little stretch to the legs. Five seconds, guys, last one. Three, two, one, press and lift, and drive the hips through. Drive, drive, pulse, press through the feet, really make it a good active contraction through the feet, through the floor. Press, drive, press, drive. 30 seconds, guys. Find that big toes, push. Hamstrings are going to be working. Glutes are going to be working. Press the feet, drive the hips. Keep it here, keep it here. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and back down. Well done, good job, guys. And give yourself a little stretch there if you need to. Just going to pause the recordings. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to hear any questions, but if you do have anything,